Hi, it's Vivian. Today, I'm in my backyard in beautiful sunny Florida to show you an exercise that actually helps increase bone density in the hips. I love doing this exercise and I do it six times a week. And I hope that after I finish showing you how to do it, you will also do it six times a week. It's actually very easy and not just a plain, simple exercise. It's actually been studied scientifically by Dr. Bassi, who published her results at, in, the, in the Journal of Bone Mineral Research in 1998. Now, it showed the best results for premenopausal women. And for postmenopausal women, if you know about Wolf's Law of Bone Formation, you will understand how this exercise can help you increase bone density in the hips and overall. So let's get started, and I'm going to show you how to do it. There are three levels of this exercise and there's beginners, intermediate and advanced. So we're gonna get started now with the beginners. Before I show you the beginners heel lift, which is the way I like to call this exercise, I wanna clarify that it's very important that you warm up your leg muscles before you start doing these exercises, no matter which level you're gonna do, whether it's beginners, intermediate or advanced. So this is how you warm up. And by the way, I'm holding on here to the back of a chair you can do the same or you can use any type of surface at the proper height so that you can hold on and not lose your balance. The warm-up is very simple. You just start walking in place and you do this for approximately one minute. As you can tell, this is going to be warming up your leg muscles and then it's going to prevent injury when you actually do the exercises. For brevity's sake, I'm not going to do the whole minute now, so I'm going to show you how to do the heel lift at the beginner's level. Hold on to something at the proper height. In this case, it's uh, where your arms are resting comfortably without straining your shoulders. And put your legs approximately at shoulder width. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift your feet and drop to the heels. And you're gonna do this at a good pace. And you're gonna feel as the heels hit the ground. And you're gonna do this technically, you should do it to a count of 50. Now, if you can do a count of 50, start with 10, 15, 20, as many as you can do without straining your muscles too much. And then you can actually take a three minute break and continue till you complete your count of 50. The next step is the intermediate level. And I call that the one step jump. Now this is a little bit different, but it also involves the pressure on the heel as you jump. So you hold on again, make sure that you're stable and you're going to jump and drop, jump and drop. Don't use the strength of your arms to propel you upwards. Use your muscles and also notice how when I land, I'm bending my knees. Never land on your straight knees. Always give yourself a cushion and make sure that when you land, you feel the pressure on the back of the heels. Now I'm going to show you the advanced level, which is called the two-step jump. Now the important thing to remember here is that this is advanced because there are two levels of where there's impact against your leg bones and your hip bones. So let's get started. Hold on to something again, and I'm going to show it in a little bit slower motion now. As you bend down, you jump up and you land on the ball of your feet and hit the heel hard. Again, jump up, land on the ball of your feet, hit the heels hard against the floor. Now I'm going to show it so that you see how this works. Again, I would like to emphasize that if you cannot do 50 at once, you get out of breath or you feel as though you can't do it, your legs are hurting or something, take a three minute break and continue till you complete 50. So there you have it. This is the exercise I wanted to show you today that's been scientifically proven to increase bone density. Now, this exercise, along with the Bone Health Action Plan in the Save Our Bones program, will help you increase bone density in targeted areas such as the hip bone. So I hope you will do it, and I hope you enjoyed this one today, and I can't wait to hear your comments. So feel free to write your comments below. Until next time.